Hello friends in this video I will show you how to insert radio button value on single click using PHP with jQuery Ajax. The example plays vital role in maximum implementations when you deal with gender like functionalities. This is simply an idea to understand how to insert value of radio button without refreshing page with the help of jQuery. Friends this is my simple database with name testing and in this database I have one table gender. In gender table there is two field one is id and second is gender. I will insert radio button value in this table. Friends this my simple page and in this page I have used query javascript library with bootstrap css framework. First I have write 3 radio button. For this first I have write first input type is equal to radio with name gender and value is equal to mail and text is also mail. And same way I have write other 2 radio button with name also gender but value will change like female another. After this I have write one division tag with it is equal to result. In this division I will show you gender value inserted message will display. Now friends I have moved to query code. For this I have write open and close script tag in between script tag I have write dollar document with ready method and open and close bracket and between bracket I have write one anonymous function. In this function I have write dollar with selector like input type is equal to radio with click event with open and close bracket and between bracket I have write one anonymous function. First I have defined one variable and in this variable I have store the value of selected radio button value. Now I have moved to Ajax code and in this first parameter is URL a string containing the URL to which the request is sent. Second is method which is a HTTP method to use for the request. I have used post method. Third is data which is sent to the server. I want to send gender data to the server. and last is success function. This function to be called if the request succeeds. In this I will receive data from the server. Now I have want to display data into division with it is equal to result. For this I have write dollar with resulted with HTML method with open and close bracket and between bracket I have write data which I have received from server. Now friends I have moved to PHP code which I have write in insert.php page. On insert.php page first I have one variable host is equal to locale host. Variable username is equal to root variable password is equal to blank and variable database is equal to testing. I have used PHP data object for inserting value so I have first write try and catch block. If there is any error found in try block we can easily handle and catch block. In try block first I have make database connection. For this I have write connect variable is equal to noob though with first parameter my SQL with host is equal to variable host and database name is equal to database variable. Second parameter is username is equal to username variable and third parameter is password equal to variable password which I have already defined above. In PHP data object there is advantages exception handle. So want to set exception. 
For this I have write connect variable with object operator with set attribute function and in this function first parameter is php data object double colon attribute error mode and second parameter is php data object double color error mode exception. First I have set exception attribute now I want to handle this exception at catch block. So in catch block I have write php data object exception with dollar error variable. Now I want to display error, so in catch block I have write echo statement with error variable with object operator with get message function. With the help of this function we can get specific error message. Now I want to check is there any Ajax request is sent to this insert page. For this I have write of statement with condition and condition I have use set function with parameter dollar post gender. With help of this condition we can check any Ajax request is received or not. After this I have write one query variable is equal to insert into table gender with field gender and values open and close bracket and between bracket I have write double colon with gender field. Here double colon is a name placeholder of gender field. Now I have write one variable statement is equal to database connection string connect with object operator with prepare statement open and close bracket and between bracket I have write query variable in which I have store insert query. Now I want to execute this insert query. So I have write statement variable with object operator with execute function and in this function I have write array with key is gender and its value is dollar post gender. After this I have write one count variable is equal to statement with object operator with row count function. This function count number of data inserted and store into count variable. Now I have write if statement with condition open and close bracket and between bracket I have write variable count is greater than zero then echo with message gender inserted successfully and if variable count value is zero then I have write echo statement with message not inserted. And lastly I have save the code of both page and check output in browser. Friends when I have click on radio button with value mail and then after I have received message like gender inserted successfully. I have also check in table there is mail data inserted into database. So friends this is my video on how to insert radio button value into my SQL table when user click on radio button by using PHP programming language with query Ajax functionality. So friends thank you for watching this video. If you have any query regarding this video you can comment on this video I will reply on your comment. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webs Listen on Twitter.